work at the European Network Against Racism. Most of the time it is speaking to people to change their perceptions about people of colour and to eventually try and change racism, sexism, homophobia in this world. Intersectionality is a very important concept. For too long we have done our activism in a way that uh, uses normativity to define certain struggles. So when it comes to the racism struggle, to define people affected by racism as men of colour. When it comes to the feminism struggle, white women. And when it comes to homophobia, white gay men. Intersectionality is hugely important to understand that there are people within those categories that are having a different experience of that oppression that we're talking about. And the word and the concept gives, um, gives a light and gives a name and gives a reality to those people. So for me, it's super important concept for queer black women, for queer women of color to take their position in society to outline the experiences that they have. Then on the other side, I think it's super important to use that knowledge of these different intersecting struggles and build solidarity around it. We also need to find connections between our movements and to fundamentally see that these structures of oppression all link to the same place. Hate speech is now not just becoming an issue of the far right, it's becoming more mainstream and you're seeing things that might have been very easily considered racist uh, or homophobic before now are being justified by the mainstream or ignored by the mainstream. Islamophobia, the same for the issue of migration. Politicians are often framing these issues as something more reasonable. Uh, they're giving hate speech and racist speech a credible voice. You are seeing um, far-right politicians masquerading as pro-LGBT in order to carry their anti-Islam, anti-migrant messages. We need to be very careful in civil society not to take upon these messages, to completely reject them and be unapologetic in our, in our stance against the far right, but also in against, against our own instrumentalization. It's the, also the importance of for the LGBT movement and for the feminist movement to take a clear anti-racist stance, which we do not see by that many mainstream civil society organizations.